Hi everyone, welcome to Kiki TV. It's your girl Kiki Amber again. Welcome to episode 4 of Nourish Your Soul and Sharpen Your Voice. If you're new here, kindly like, comment and subscribe. You're welcome to this channel. If you are old here, I love you dearly. So what is the scripture for today? Proverbs chapter 15 verses 1. I would love to show you how the scripture relates in today's communication tip, which is knowing or working on your tone and pitch. Working on your tone and pitch. What does the Bible say? The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, the scripture reading is taken from Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1. It says that a gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words stir up wrath. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words stir up wrath. What does it mean when someone says, work on your tone and work on your pitch? Working on your tone means that you need to work on how you, you speak. You need to be intentional. You need to adjust yourself. You need to refine the way you communicate with others. I've had so many people that complain about how this person doesn't talk to me well. This person doesn't... Sometimes the person comes with a good mindset, a good intention, but the tone in which they spoke was bad. Working on your tone and pitch, it helps you build stronger relationships with your friends, loved ones. It helps you communicate effectively. It helps you convey confidence and authority. It helps you show empathy to even others, especially in your tone, the way you speak, the way you sound. You don't just go around screaming, ah, Ah, uh, no. Take your time. It helps even avoid misunderstanding. It helps you as a child of God enhance your personal and professional brand. Everybody has a brand. The way you sell yourself is your brand. That's how you keep yourself. So I want you to remember this, that your tone is powerful. It's a powerful aspect of your communication style. And when you are working on it, it can greatly impact how you communicate or talk to others and even how others respond to you. Some people go like, I'm in this work field, but the way my boss talks to me, I don't like it. It's because of your tone. So learn to work on it. What I want us to reflect on is that your tone and pitch always convey emotions and attitudes. So you have to be aware of your tone. Use gentle language. If you're angry, don't speak. Be calm. Use gentle language and also vary your pitch for emphasis. The tip of today is you can record yourself if you want, that if you want to practice how to have a good tone and a good pitch, record yourself, practice mindfulness and ask for feedback. I communicated with you yesterday. How did you like it? Did I sound so awful? Was I calm in my tone? That is the kind of question you can ask yourself. And the question of today that I'll leave you with is how can you adjust your tone and pitch to be a better communicator with your audience? Remember what the Bible says, be slow to speak. A soft answer will solve everything. Don't go around being angry with everyone. This is Nourish Your Soul, Sharpen Your Voice with Kiki Ambra. Thank you for staying. Shalom. I hear you.